Hi, this is Joe DiMaggio for Radorama TV, and I'd like to talk to you about uh, a little project I've been working on. I was asked to photograph some bracelets. It's one of my clients. And I realized I could actually put the pieces on the ice and photograph them that way. Adorama TV presents Visual Impressions with Joe DiMaggio, where you will learn to create compelling and imaginative photography. Here's your host, Joe DiMaggio. Hi, this is Joe DiMaggio for Ranarama TV, and uh, I'm standing in the middle of an ice storm. Now you'd say to yourself, what normal person would stand in the middle of an ice storm? Well, I'm not normal. I'm a photographer. Photographers will do just about anything to get a photograph. I received a phone call the other day from Norway. One of my clients wanted some bracelets photographed, and they wanted me to do it in the studio, and they were FedExing them out to me. When I received them, I brought them into the studio and I did the classic studio shot. I'm on manual. I've got a highlight, an overall light, and just kind of a rim light. And we're utilizing the self-timer. By utilizing the self-timer, we're going to get no vibration in the shot because we will be shooting at a sixth of a second at f32. In this particular case, I want everything as sharp as possible for the raw image to start to bring it into Photoshop so we can deliver the client the photograph that they want. So we shot it in the studio. The photos in the studio were very pretty, simple, straightforward. That's what they were looking for. Um, and I said to myself, you know what? Uh, we need to go a little bit further with that. So. Um, I looked at the bracelets and I'm saying to myself, Norway, okay, Norway, the fjords, ice. So uh, I decided to go down to a frozen river and actually photograph these on the river. And I laid one down, set the whole thing up, was ready to light it with an LED light. Everything was ready to go. And then the bracelets started to float down the river. And the client doesn't like that when you lose products. You don't want to go chasing a bracelet down a river. So I decided to uh, break camp and come back to the studio. So I took a chunk of ice, put it in the back of the automobile, put it next to the studio, and I realized the ice would stay there and I could actually put the pieces on the ice and actually photograph them that way. So using LED lights that are waterproof and my Canon close-up tube, I'm able to generate a pretty interesting photograph. In this particular case, what I did is we went to a little bit higher ISO. I believe we went to ISO 800 and we shot at F11 and F16. So we got the sharpest possible photograph. This is a little bit different than doing an environmental portrait. The client wants sharp, so you have to give them sharp. The lights we used were two Sartec underwater lights. And the reason I used the Sartec underwater lights is because we originally were gonna shoot it, light it from underneath the water and have it coming up out of the frame and then putting the jewelry down. So we used it high ISO. I consider the new 800 ISO is probably equivalent to, in my opinion, uh, Kodachrome 200 and maybe even a little bit better than that. We used the new Super Light Manfrotto tripod and the Manfrotto head. If you have an opportunity to stop by the store at Adorama, lovely, lovely people. They genuinely care about your photographic needs. And uh, check into the Adorama Learning Center. It's a great place, great tips. Subscribe to my Adorama TV show and all of the other photographers on Adorama. Uh, we're all dedicated to photo education. So it's Joe DiMaggio for Adorama TV. Thanks an awful lot. And if you don't mind, I'm going to get out of this freezing rain because I don't belong here. At least not dressed like this. Thank you. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.